see me here. Hopefully we're going to have some special guests on the show if everything works out. Um, oh, great. And the chat shows up here too. This is fab. Right. So if this works, we might have some live guests in the chat, um, in, in the video even. Um, yeah, we'll see how this goes. I think Steffi is trying to get in right now. Um, and anyone who's following the link, you will, um, you don't dive straight into the chat. You don't just dry, oh, speaking today, terrible. You don't drive, jump straight into the live. You come into my green room where I can uh, let you in. Um, so <clears throat> yeah, if anyone wants to have a go at that, if you have a webcam set up, and you're in Pam Duthie's Crafty Friend. I've just put up a link here. You just have to sign into the app, follow the link, and it should let you into my green room. Um, and then we'll practice and see how this goes. So even if you just want to pop into the green, green room and then say, I don't want to go live, I would love it to see if we can get this link working. Um, I seem to have some chat happening. This is I'm using a different app today. I hope you don't mind. I've made it all Halloweeny. Um, I'm using a different app. This is why I'm a little nervous and a little all over the place. I wasn't sure if it was going to work. Seems to be working. So we have Steffi in the stream and Erica. Hello there, Canvas and Chroma. Good morning. I'm actually up in time. Awesome. And Carol. Um, for those of you that don't know, we will be. Um, in fact, I will talk about this in two in about 30 seconds what we're going to be doing today there's a reason for that you'll see um erica hello there yep so for those just joining the stream i believe we have about 10 people here awesome if you're in pam duffy's crafty friends and have a webcam and want to join in and actually physically say hello there is a link in Pam Duffy's Crafty Friends if you want to give that a go. Now, it might work, it might not work. This is just something we're trying. It won't put you up on the screen straight away. So if you're a bit nervous about that, you just come into my green room. This sounds very fancy, um, but hopefully it works. Right. Now, while we are waiting for that, um, Uh, yeah, sorry, <laughs> trying to check check the chat and everything else all at once. Right, while we are waiting for that, can I can I do this? Another reason I hopefully oh what am I doing? Right, I had this working earlier. Um, oh, here we go. Right, another reason for using this app if this works. So today we are doing the Maker's Monthly Box. Um, which has just clicked over into the the following month. What are we in November? Good grief. We're in November. So hopefully you can see this. Um, so another reason I like this app, I can actually do sales. So you can see the Maker's Monthly Box is £19 and whatever that converts to in dollars. Pay that once a month and you get your subscription box through the mail with the kits that, um, yeah, that we're, we're going to be working along to every month. And next month is going to be the Badger. But if you haven't already seen uh, this month that we're working on, because I'm a bit behind, and he's down here, is the wolf kit. So yay, <laughs> that is what we're doing today. So if anyone's interested in that, I can now add the links and everything cool here. <laughs> Look at me. So that's if anyone's interested, this app is Be Live. Um, I'm quite new to it, but it does seem to, at least this, this sales bit is pretty cool. So I might even make a video of this at one stage because it would be a cool way. If you have a live show, I'm thinking this might be a nice way to be able to sell, sell your items. You can queue them up. And then when you talk about them, it automatically, it puts the image up on the screen and then puts the clickable link into the chat. Or hopefully it did. Let me know if it actually put the link into the chat. But anyway, yeah, that's, that's kind of cool, I think. Um, yeah, <laughs> learning a new app is always a little bit clunky. Um, yeah, so, and the, the Makers is also here, which I think is also Steffi. Um, yeah, but yeah, hi guys. So let's make a start on this kit. I'm just reversing you because 
I, I can't zoom the camera in on this app. So we're going to have to do it this way. So this can go away and this can come in and hopefully we can see the two cameras. <laughs> Everybody let me know if everyone's working, everything's kind of working out in the chat. Like I say, I can't have I haven't got all the functionality of my other app that I use, but it's kind of fun. So what we have here is the wolf box where we left it and I packed everything away because it was like I was being sensible for a change. Um, that's everything I need out. And what we've got to is, so far we have a bizarre looking monster and a pair of what will hopefully become legs. I believe we were just about to head into the pause. So Steffi, if you manage, if you manage to get in, I will see you if you get in. Um, Yep, the wolf is no longer available as a sub, but it will become a pack soon. Awesome. Right. Where did I get to? Yes. Um, so I have the two paws. Wow. For me, they're almost the same length, too. That's pretty cool. So first bend the paw by about three centimeters, then wrap the paw. So that's about that much. And we'll do the same that much. Uh, Denise, hello there. <laughs> Canvas sensibility is a lost art in 2020. I think quite a lot's a lost art in 2020. It's been an interesting year, has it not? Okay, we'll need to actually take some of the wool out. So um, wrap the paw, wrap just the paw with wool and felt down. Um, and Steffi, let me know if I'm doing anything wrong here. I really, <laughs> I don't want to mess up the wolf kit when it's dogs that I do all the time. Oh, right. Hold on. Something exciting might be about to happen. <laughs> Are we ready? Oh. What's this? <laughs> so, hello there. <laughs> Erica, I yeah. believe. So nice to meet you. Thank you for the first ever person on one of my live streams. Thank you so much. <laughs> I was trying something and then all of a sudden it occurred. <laughs> Fantastic. I know Steffi's been having trouble. The, it's, it's a new app, so I thought I would just have a go at doing something a bit different. It's so nice to see your face. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So tell us a little bit about yourself while you're here. Then. Yeah, well, I'm a farmer's wife, as you know. We have mm -hmm. dairy. We have a dairy farm, and I have sheep for hobby. Oh, and fantastic! Sheep dog trials. Yes, we were talking about all of all of that last week. I would love to do sheep dog trials, or well, not get that far, but I would love to work with a working sheep. I do agility and all sorts of training, but the the sheep dog work is what they're really bred for and they love. Yeah, so. that's correct. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. Is your 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 uh, you're just working ahead? Behind me, you're still talking. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I'm talking. Um, the, the, this middle thing that you'll be able to see this is the overhead camera. Yeah. So, so I can. I think this this could be a cool little little interlude when I'm doing a felty bit that takes time. I've got people to talk to now. Okay, that's what you're doing. Ah, uh -huh. yeah. okay. so That makes it so much easier for me. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> cool. So, well, so nice to meet you. Thank you so much for joining the stream. Um, yeah, so everybody, Eric has managed it. Um, if I like this software, we can totally... We can do this on a, on a regular basis. Yeah, it's um, nice. It's nice. It is. It's a bit different because the I know a lot of people are doing the Zoom meetings to be able to talk to people, which is kind of fun. But this is a bit different as well. So. Yeah, it is. It is especially for you because you can't see faces. I know. I know. It's so nice to actually have someone to like interact with because I say something and then five minutes later it comes up in the chat what people yeah. have responded yeah, yeah. <laughs> but this way you can dive in yeah. yeah yeah okay well thank you so much for jumping in um it was yeah. so nice to meet you, you <laughs> yeah but, <laughs> right have a great day and okay. thank you bye 
Okay, guys, so it is it is possible. As I say, the link is in Pam Duffy's um Pam Duffy's Crafty Friends. Is that the name of my group? The link the link's in my Facebook group. Um and what happens is you show up in my green green room, which is down below. I can see the little faces. So if it's someone you don't we don't know, or if you're a doing something that shouldn't be on camera. I won't put you up on the screen, but that's our first ever call in. Erica, thank you so much. That was so cool. Um, G Morgan, Ginger, hello there. And River City Creative. Um, Steffi, you're saying you're in the waiting room. I don't see you. Hang on. Can you try again? I don't see you. <laughs> I know it's working for some people. Um, <laughs> but, oh, it's so annoying when this kind of stuff works for some and not for others. Maybe it was because I had two, I had four things already in my waiting room. So if you can try again, fingers crossed, because I really want to see Steffi as well. Um, yeah, <laughs> Ginger, the tech is so cool. Wow, I know. I was so excited by that that feature. This just makes it a whole lot more interactive if people want to pop in and felt, um, you know, felt along with me and. All that, all that good stuff. Um, Alex, hello there. Carol, brilliant to see Erica. I know, it's putting faces to names. I know some of you guys have been like in, in Zoom meetings together, but um, I've never managed to to get for, for one of that. But I just really, I was really excited to be able to do this. Yay. So, yeah, oh, so happy stuff's working. Can I ask you guys? Okay, th this this is a test, <laughs> as you can tell. This is brand new to me. So if you can let me know if the quality and everything of this stream, how does it compare to what a normal stream is? Is the volumes, the pictures and everything okay? Um, sorry, I keep putting my head into the, <laughs> the shot. I have less control over everything here. Um, so I can't really sort of do so, do so much, like in controls of making sorting out volume or sorting out pictures or everything but it does give us all these really fun little things that we can do like bringing people in so this means i can do at, at some point when i'm ready for that we can do interviews and all sorts of things oh stephanie's saying she was on the phone app but going to try the laptop now yeah the phone app's, app's supposed to work but i didn't see you pop up in my green room <laughs> so yes i don't fingers crossed i know um we use this this is the app that we use in the e-rank group um and i've been paying this for this for a few months so, so i thought well i'm i'm paying for this app <laughs> so why don't i use it for my own stuff as well um and it does have all these funky things like the i can put my halloween background on just now and i also have i can even put backgrounds behind i've got my craft my craft wall it's this inception there's there's craft wall out there and then craft wall there. <laughs> but yes, there's there's much less I can do with this, but it's actually kind of fun. Um, Carol, um, picture sound all look good. Oh, awesome. Thank you so much. That's reassuring to hear. Um, I was not to, I was really concerned that this wouldn't work out because every time I try and do something fancy with this, it just totally doesn't happen. But so far, we seem okay. Um, right. Once your port measures about, oh, perfect, three, three and a half a centimeters in width, make three indented lines by stack. Gotcha. Yep. So we are actually stabbing the the little paws the little toes toes that <laughs> i'm going handy we're stabbing the the toes in and then we're going to cut them awesome that's totally how i do it as well <laughs> so not that i do pause very often um and three three is so right it's i know a dog has like four toes and then the little dew claw thummy thing or on their front paws but if you do four it's like it's like when you're doing human fig figures it's really difficult to do four fingers and a thumb drawing or sculpting um because they just tend to look a bit like bunches of bananas really and it's the same it looks really odd on 
dog or wolf's paws to basically try and get all of the toes in. Um, oh, do we do we make a dew claw with this? Oh, hang on, we maybe are doing all one, two, three, four. We are doing all of them. Um, make three lines. I I don't know where we're doing. This is exciting. I don't know where we're going with this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just quickly checking in Facebook that there's not anyone screeching for me that I should be doing stuff. Um, it's Pam Duffy's Crafty Friends on Facebook, by the way, if anyone doesn't know. <laughs> oh, I can't even remember the name of my own group. Anyway, so how's everyone's Halloween been? Um, nothing here. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Um, my very sad really um as as you'll know i help out at a friend's uh, monthly nightclub um it's a bit goth and alternative and everything so this year we were so excited that halloween was going to be on the saturday night we had the club night on the saturday night i think it's the first time we've ever had the actual halloween night which would have been so cool because people plan their outfits for like a year it is so beautiful and fun and of course this year none so he did he live streamed on twitch the the club night um so i i watched a club on twitch i watched my friend dj and chatted and chat to some of my friends but not quite the same um and felt sorry for my poor dog because the fireworks are going off crazy just now um oh oh i think I think we might have a Steffi. <laughs> um, okay. Steffi, can you mute your background noise or whatever's going on? And let's let's see if we can put you up. Um, countdown and <laughs> Steffi, um, your camera doesn't, you can switch your camera on. Um, you should be able to switch your camera on, but hello, can you hear me? Um, I can hear you. Um, I just need to get to work my camera, so just bear with me. No problem. Um, there should be a little cog above your picture. If you click on that, it should let you open your camera. Yeah. I, yeah, I often have trouble with that. that. But hello. We can hear you, so thank you so much for joining us. Okay, I'm, I'm, I might have to switch my... Um, web camera on because i've got a i've got a, an external camera but i don't think it's um oh it might work actually now that it's come up ah something's happening all right <laughs> hello there hello oh that's oh, so nice to be here i'm just going to sh um change the camera a little bit uh oh which one is it oh it is using the web camera so it's not the greatest camera on the planet but <laughs> Oh, oh no, it's over. fine. We can see you. Yeah. Excellent. You can see me. That's the main thing. Oh, Hello, cool. everybody. Oh, it's so, so, so everybody. Well, everyone, this is Steffi, if you don't know, from the makers. So do you want to tell us a little bit about yourself? Oh like, my god, how make... long have you got? So um <laughs> so yes, yeah, so I'm one the S one of the S's of the makers. Lots of you know me already. I haven't actually checked um, the chat very much because um, I've been faff faffing around with um, with trying to get on screen. But um, I can see uh, definitely a few uh, familiar faces there. So um, hi, Carol, and hi, Alex. And um, a lot a lot of you guys um, watch me on YouTube um, regularly as well. So we've been going for five years. We're needle felting experts, but we've stuck in a, a few other crafts like um, um, doll making and we we do decorate peg dolls as well originally i'm a really enthusiastic knitter and crocheter i'm absolutely useless with the sewing machine but i love sewing by hand and um yeah so we just basically design all the time lots of things to um keep everybody else amused and ourselves of course as well sophie is the other s and she's uh, going off on maternity leave soon so you'll see definitely oh, more of me i've actually yeah. got a wolf here there he is Oh, he's awesome. I it's love actually, him. I've, I've decided it's a definitely a she-wolf. And um, I don't want to make too much um, uh, 
promotion of this because it's actually no longer <laughs> available to buy now but if you wait um a little bit then um it will become available as a pack i think we're going to take it to create and craft next month um in fact oh, this month in november and then yeah. we always have to sort of wait a little bit before we can sell it um in our own name again because we've got um sort of like legal obligations towards them and of course if you remember you can also make this amazing background with it has anybody seen this amazing moon yesterday i mean i really wanted to take a photo of it with um the wolf in front but i, I managed to take a photo of the wolf in front um a couple of days before that so it wasn't quite a full moon but it was oh, i just after loved awesome, it. And i've yeah. seen so many lovely um arrangements of the background and the wolf so I'm, I'm really i'm so excited to see yours come um come to life pam because you always add um your own take on it and that that is so exciting i love it well we'll see how he works out anyway but well i i always i trust your projects they always turn out great and this this is definitely not how i would have started making a wolf i love that it's always different from what i would have thought of <laughs> I know they um I, I, I know that um there's a lot of transformation often goes on. People often joke about it, or oh, I've just made a chicken or a duck or whatever, and it it's nothing, it's not meant to be that. But when I made the wolf, I thought of um of a shark, dolphin, and then at some point it looks like an albino toad. <laughs> I can see that, yes. But I can't, who who said it last week, but saying like the the monster out of the film's tremors that they come out of the ground and that is exactly what it's like just now. <laughs> yeah, that's it. So yeah. Oh, it's so nice. Let's see. I I, I want to oh you so oh this is so totally new to me. I find this very exciting. I've actually just messaged um Emma really excitedly and saying, You've got to watch Pam. You know, got I know it's something totally different. Oh, actually, I think we have someone else here to talk about as well. Hang on, talk about. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out everything here. Um, we should have, or we did have Alex, but now we've got a bright light. What have I done here? Hello, hello. <laughs> okay, wait, she probably got fed up of waiting, and oh, oh, tipping right. Hold on. <laughs> Hopefully this will work here. Alex, hello. Oh, hi there, Alex. Oh, actually, I think we have... Hello, Alex, can you hear us? Oh, hang on. Talk about it. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> You're on the tally. We should have, or we did have, Alex. I don't know. Oh, there might be a... Oh, oh my goodness. Trust a quick help. Hello, yes, you're on the tally, Ali. <laughs> I know it's so difficult to you figure are, out all um, these I things. Think, I think what confused me is that you actually have to watch it in uh, Be Live oh, rather yeah. than in, yeah. in YouTube. That's so late, I, I closed down YouTube and then just watched it in Be Live. Hello, Alex. Hi, Alex. Hi, I don't know quite what I'm doing, but that's the <laughs> in the club. Ignore the telly, focus on that one. All right. I can, can you hear me? Yeah, we can indeed. Yes, right. So good I to can see, see you. you on the phone on my phone. Yeah, ignore the telly. Oh, shit. Sorry. No, Bob, ignore the telly. <laughs> Focus on the phone. Right, I'm focusing on the phone. Yeah. So. Oh, I know it's it's difficult. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's my daughter. Oh, I'm there. What? No, I'm ignore not. Ignore the telly. Focus ignore the telly. The Focus on the phone. Oh, right. I'm focusing on the phone. Yes, there'll be a slight delay with what comes up on the tally. Um, so what's on the phone is is us. <laughs> yes. Oh, this isn't me, Steffi. <laughs> I thought I'd try it. I totally appreciate people. it. No, I'm so pleased. I thought like everyone would be worried and not do it, but I'm loving it that everyone's diving in. I so am Alex, <laughs> yeah. Alex, introduce yourself to the chat. Oh, right. Oh. Oh, I want to get the other... Alex and I really got into um, needle felting slightly and then met Steffi <laughs> and I've been following Steffi ever since oh, and so, just doing yeah. things and just enjoying felting myself. I'm retired now, I'm an ex-nurse but I need to keep myself busy. Absolutely and felting does do that. So have you met Steffi in real life? Yes. Or... Oh, fantastic. I need, yeah. we need to get down. Well, once once we can, I need to get down and see yeah. everybody. Yeah. I used to sort of yeah. follow her around. We love Pat. 
yes, <laughs> my daughter even loves you, Pam. So, <laughs> oh, thank you so much. <laughs> so we need to get something down here around Steffi's shop, and we could all, <laughs> when this dreaded lurgy leaves us. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Well, yes. It looks like I jumped in on Steffi's roll. <laughs> oh no, Steffi! St- I haven't kicked her out. I've just she's changing her camera, so I've I've put her oh, into right. the room. Okay. It's a, a little staging play. Yeah. I can't believe I've actually done this, Pam. It's incredible. I <laughs> no, I'm so chuffed. You're so brave. Yeah. <laughs> so that's our, our third person on on the stream, oh. right? I'll let. I just say my got to the dolphin stage. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. But we're oops. I just hit my mic. Yeah, yeah we're at the same stage. I think. Yes. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, I cool. will disappear and you can see if there's anybody else. Thank you so much. Lovely I'll see you later. You. And you, thank you so much for joining us. Bye, then. everybody. Bye. And we have. Steffi is back in the house. I, I, it's the same camera still. Um, I, I need, I've got a. I'm still developing my whole setup here, so I'm I'm learning every day what extra things I need, and I need some I need some new USB plugs that go, go straight into the into the socket, which is why my camera that I want to use is for some reason at the moment not playing game. But that's oh. fine. I've got them. I've got them, but I just would need to go and get them. But it's fine. I don't need to go. Yeah, no, you're looking you're looking absolutely fine. I don't think we can put like full quality video up on this anyway. So I. Th- what I see in my end, you're looking fine, and right. it's good to see you. Um, right, would you want to tell us a bit about the Badger bot? Well, what, mm-hmm. what we're doing next so the, one. I haven't got it with me to show you here, but uh, the Badger is one that Sophie has designed, and it, it is really big. It's like a it's like a, um, a, a 3D landscape that you make from structural felt. So we are in, introducing a new um, fabric that's um, that is a um, it's quite a it's made from recycled wool and um, it can be completely compostable. It's got sort of bits of hessian through it as well to hold it together, but it's brilliant for making a 3D landscape or I've actually used it in the, I'm just gonna reach for the cat because this one is the December box. So this is after the badger, but I'll just show you what that structural felt looks like. So it's, um, I've needle felt it over the top, but it's quite a substantial um, 100% wool, um, yeah, it's quite substantial. So you can sew it into a, a cut basket in this case. And for the badger, you make um, you make him um, like a like an overground hole where he will come out. So you you make a full size badger. He can be moved in and out, and then you um, you can make all kinds of landscape um, details. So there are um, toadstools, and there is a tree trunk with an owl sitting in it, and there are even like two tiny little mice come coming out of a hole. So it's a very it's quite a playful detailed 3d landscape with a badger that um can either hide or pop out of his hole it's really lovely actually that's oh i'm looking forward to that now i'm gonna have to hurry up with the wolf else we'll never get <laughs> yeah. there that sounds brilliant and a great new new things to play with and uh, yeah looking forward to this sculptural felt awesome i've actually got um i think i've got a better picture here i know you showed it this is our new um calendar that is come up, um that people can buy for 2021 um yeah you've you've shown it already but there is a picture of it i come a bit closer so you can see it uh, better so yes yeah, that so that's brilliant. it you can see yeah. the little owl is perched in the tree there oh no there that's the little yeah. white blob with the owl. And then there are tiny little mice here, down here. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. <laughs> there, tiny little mice. And then you've got a, um, a tree trunk there, a hollow tree trunk. And, and the badger is, you can move him in and out. He's, he's 100, 100% complete. So, that is fab. Can... I hadn't. I'd looked at the picture, but I hadn't realised all the details and everything. Mm. I, just, I just looked at the badger and went, "Yeah, yeah I love felting badgers." But that, yeah, yeah that's... I love all the details. Yeah, so. it's, it's really great. And we've got all of our live streams planned um, ahead now until um, February. So we're we're going to um, our our sort of felt along live streams, if you like. We're going to do the polar bear, which was a, a makeup box. I don't know if you did. You do that one, Pam. 
I didn't know I wanted to, so yay, I'm going to get a chance to. Mm. So he's now available as a pack, and it's really, it's really, it's such a good bargain. It's basically you get all the instructions and all the materials to make him, including the skis, for thirteen pound fifty. And then oh. I'm going, I'm going to do um, a stab along, or we call it a make along, um, in in January. So it's over three three um, Tuesday lunch times where people can make it. We can make it together or you can make it on your own because you'll have the instructions as well and then in um march so we've we actually got march planned as well we're gonna make this this chicken with attitude she was also a maker's box and I, i'm so looking forward to this because i love it when people give animals funny expressions so <laughs> quite i can fun. see that's gonna have some great expressions yeah, yeah. and Brilliant. i don't know if anybody has got chickens but we have got chickens and um whoever whoever made you know thought all the um the ideas of the different characters in chicken run out i just absolutely love it because there is definitely you know every single character in our little um clan of chickens as well you always have an amber and you always have have a, have the dim one and you've got one that eats all the time and one that wants to yep. sleep all the time and yeah so it's that's that's sort of a little bit like put the the character of a chicken into there it's quite fun absolutely i don't have any but one of my friends has she had she was always talking about when she had chickens and she said she was going to get some more and i thought she just meant like a couple of chickens she's got about a hundred chickens and ducks and everything <laughs> and they they wander into the house they eat the dog's food right in the bowl when the dog's just stood there like mom there's a chicken in my bowl <laughs> but they're brilliant they're such characters like you say that i hope really the house cleaned <laughs> <laughs> well, they only get into the kitchen, which is tiled and wiped down a board. Mm. <laughs> yeah, we used to have that. I don't actually know how I can comment. Um, I don't think I can comment on here. Not in the chat, but you, well, you can comment with your words. <laughs> um, yeah, of course, yeah. But um, so, so I can't post any links. And and Emma is just doing. Um, she's doing a Zoom to. Um, what's it called? She's doing a Zoom tutorial at the moment on a new system that we're using at our workshop so she's just messaged oh, me right. she yes. can't look at it right now but yeah that this is um this is definitely amazing how, well, how, we'll do, we'll jump through the chat just now and then i'll let you go to deal with that and then if you want to come in later you're welcome okay. to right um so we have um cj dragons is in the house carol saying hello to steffi <laughs> um and ginger g morgan's hello oh great idea from ginger by the way the shadow um setting up the wolf done in a shadow box with its mm. background that's a good idea um <laughs> sky wolf i see a wolf <laughs> uh and my friend carly has joined in um carly is actually someone i know in real life which I hope you're good carly good to see you um <laughs> carol's waving <laughs> Um, and Car we've got Karen from Quebec. Um, oh, Carol's up for joining in. If anyone wants to join in the chat, I see we have Canvas waiting in the green room. Um, I don't think your camera's working just now, but I'll let you in if you get your camera working. Um, Ginger, see some practicing on camera angles in my future. All my health selfies look straight up my nostrils. Selfies, hold the camera up. It gets rid of the chin. It's great. <laughs> Um, he, what else have we got? Ginger can film your hands crocheting and the tablet. Yeah, the badgers. Um, Ginger saying the badgers is fab. Karen thinks the badgers is some kit. I do. I'm so looking forward to this. Um, Carol's looking forward to the badger in his environment. Um, Eric is saying it's because of Steffi's sheep tutorial that she's addicted to make her own sheep. Yeah, you have to make your actual sheep. <laughs> that would be so cool. Okay, Steffi, I will beat you out for a couple of minutes so you okay, can get that's fine. your work. Thank you so much for joining. Yeah, thank you. I'll see you later. Um, okay. Um, Canvas, I'm not seeing you. It might come up if I put you on. Let's let's see. Um, no, I don't Hello. see you. I can hear you. Hello, how are you? Well, we, we can. Hear can me, we but can... you can't see me. That's weird. Yeah, um, mm. I'm still learning about this app myself. Um, how are you, anyway? Oh, I'm pretty good. 
I'm just, uh, I don't know. Sometimes, I don't know, my brain is weird. Sometimes I don't even wake up until like 10, like I've been doing the past week. But today I woke up at 7 for some reason. Oh, crikey. Yeah. Um, I think just 2020 is weird for everybody. I think I, I'm not even going to talk about the times I wake up. It's not good. <laughs> oh, yeah. My, my anxiety level is like beyond, like it's gone straight through the roof to outer space at this point. It's oh yeah, I know it's so tough, and there's there's nothing much we can do. Just get through this year, isn't it? Just try all the little pleasures and take time felting. Yeah, I've been. I, I bought a. I bought a. Do you guys have Costco's over there in the UK? Oh, uh, we do. Yes. Uh -huh. They. Uh, yeah, this is the time of year to go to Costco because the giant apple and pumpkin pies. For like 10 bucks that are a pound just massive pies oh of course yes it's selling off all the leftover halloween stuff brilliant Good yeah, i got a, i got a i got a costco pie yesterday and that made me very happy oh brilliant there you go the the small pleasures like a massive <laughs> like a massive pie <laughs> oh, <laughs> can you still not see me is my camera not working camera's still not working sorry if you try there should be a little cog above your face if you click that you can pick different cameras sometimes that's that's the case it, um, this this always picks my wrong camera well that definitely didn't work oh dear unfortunately the this app's good but there's oh that did <laughs> there we go oh, that worked yeah, there's limited functionality with, okay, with this. I don't know why that worked because that's how I had it before and then I switched it off and now it's working. Okay, cool. That is strange. Um <laughs> okay, but it's good to see you. Um yeah, nice nice to see your face at least. <laughs> I'm having a having a hair day. <laughs> Can I just I check need a haircut really bad? This is when it gets like just <laughs> hey it looks fine to me um guys can you let me know in the chat um canvas is good in the green room but he's not moving on my screen so <laughs> you guys can let me know there oh we've got a ginger saying yay she sees you <laughs> um and lily trees in the house hello there um oh ginger the the other half takes lorazepam for anxiety. It helps a lot just trying to get to election day. Yeah, if you're if you're in the States, that's yeah, you've got extra <laughs> extra things to worry about for sure. Yeah. Oh, it's 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 nonstop over here. Like it's just I don't even want to talk about it. It's just it it's beyond anything you could possibly imagine to be like in the United States and you know be on the cliff of I don't know. Yeah, no, I I understand it's it's crazy. Um just fingers crossed. I don't want to get too political obviously, but I think everyone can really this. No. <laughs> but but I just I, I hope everything calms down in a couple of weeks anyway. No no matter what happens, I, I hope things get a bit better anyway. They better because I don't know how much more I could take of this. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, we're well, just. I can't stay too long. I gotta go get breakfast and go to the store. Of course, yes. And I, I gotta do time... fabric shopping today. Sorry. I gotta do fabric shopping today. Oh no! Oh. The whole... <laughs> <laughs> Yay, buying craft. That's far more important than actual food shopping. <laughs> Okay, well, thank you. I just wanted so to pop in and say hello. Yeah, no, I appreciate I'm loving that all you guys have been brave and coming in. But, well, thank you so much for joining us. Um, and, yeah, um, I'll maybe see you later. But take care. Um, and, yeah, catch you later. Okay, guys, um, I better actually <laughs> show where I've got to with my felting. This is supposed to be a felting, but everybody, for those who don't know, in Pam Duffy's Crafty Friends on Facebook, I've put the link that you can come into my green room and I can let you in. I really thought nobody was going to do this, but um, yeah, you guys joined in, so thank you so much.
much. <laughs> this makes it so much more fun. Although I've got very little felting done. Um, <clears throat> so give me two seconds to read this and then I'll get some more into the chat. Um, <clears throat> make sure the wire coincides with one of the a whole toe. Yep. Um, oh, I was supposed to do three like. Oh, OK, we're doing our own little thing because Pam can't read instructions. I was supposed to do the full range of toes, but I'm only doing three toes. It's three lines, not three toes. Um, but let's see if my... Excuse the top of my head. Let's see if my second best scissors can cut this. Because my good scissors are downstairs, but these are my second best scissors. There we go. So we're having smaller paws. Stop putting your head in the camera, Pam. That's not good. Right, there we go. Yeah, so everyone who was screaming at the screen going, Pam, you're doing the wrong number of toes. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, campus, that's weird because it's on delay. I saw the end of myself. Yeah. Um, now, now you see how, how I feel when people are... That That's why if... It might take me a while to notice when someone's saying something in chat, these scissors are being rubbish, um, because there's quite a delay. <laughs> so, yeah, you finished saying saying goodbye and then you see yourself. <laughs> you see yourself on telly. So everyone's become famous. Um, you're all on telly. <laughs> um, and Ginger would say, she, you're still in your jammies, else they, they'd give it a try as well. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine <laughs> totally understand I literally Steffi had said she was going to come in which I totally totally was excited about um and then that didn't look like it was working but thankfully she got that sorted um because technology that this works for most people but I know some people have not been able to set it up at all um, so I was so excited that Steffi came on, but I didn't think anyone else would come on. And then I see people coming into my green room and I'm like, that's so exciting. <laughs> so, yeah, if anyone wants to join in and distract me at any time, you now have the, the magic button to jump in. Uh, Pamela's in the house. Hello there. Good morning. Right. Um, OK, I'm felting in between the, the toe beans. And we're going to try and do some claws. I'm nervous to do this because this means I'll be like crunched over here and you're just going to see the top of my head for like an hour. Um, <laughs> but I do I do think now that we have the ability to talk to each other. So this means I'm going to get distracted far more than usual. <laughs> and these kits are going to take like two months apiece because <laughs> I'm easily distracted. But it's been so much fun to watch people. Um, okay, take a little wisp of the proper black and twist it into a thin thin strand and then fold in half and twist again. <clears throat> okay, felt it underneath. Okay, I see I'm gonna make I'm going to make all my all my little tiny bits so I'm just gonna <sighs> now to be to be disgusting about it because it's actually warm in my house today and I decided to go with a Halloween sweater again I'm roasting hot so <laughs> my fingers are warm and sweaty <laughs> only needle felt to say my fingers are warm and sweaty so that means that these little claws are going to work really well it does say you can use the maker's beeswax um if you've got it to strengthen up things but i seem to be <laughs> managing to do this really nicely with my sweaty fingers isn't that nice uh gwen um i'm late but but cool you're here either way exactly it's great to see you gwen thank you so much for joining us um Oh, we'll talk about, right, I teased you last week about what my videos was going to be about. So thank you all, everyone who jumped into those videos and supported me there. Those have been like my best videos this year, pretty much. I was amazed how well it did. Um, but 
so now I'm I'm planning all the things. If you if you don't know, it was about Etsy ads and how they were totally ripping me off. And now I'm planning ways to try and hack, to try and use that kind of money that I would have got from Etsy ads that I would have spent on Etsy ads to see if there's ways that I can spend that sixty sixty dollars. If see if I can spend those sixty bucks in ways that make more money or take less work. Um, so something that somebody mentioned was they were um, actually getting a better return from buying Etsy shares than they are from using Etsy ads. So, oh, you can just focus on my head. There we go. Um, <laughs> So um, what I've done is I've run some calculations on how much I would have made if instead of this year, every month, me spending around about $60 on Etsy ads, if I'd actually spent that money on Etsy shares, how much money I would have made or lost or, well, how much I would have got in the shares. So I'm going to show you that calculation. And I think I'm going to buy my first ever shares next, um, well, mon Monday or Tuesday. I've not decided when I'm going to do that video. So if that's something you're interested in, watching me spend my money on bizarre different schemes. <laughs> but yeah, that's something I decided to try for this week. So if you're interested in that, oh, I think my wolf needs his claws clipped. But anyway um Steffi sorry I had to drop out back again good to see you again um but but yes I don't you guys don't have to be here all the time it's it's fine if you just nip in and out um ginger just spit my coffee buying shares well when you see the numbers stop putting your head in the camera Pam right focus camera focus camera See these, see these paws? Right, focus on them, not my head. Um, I'm not going to tell you what the numbers are because you're going to have to catch it in my video, but the numbers of how much I would have, how much my shares would have been worth if I'd have spent $60 a month for the whole of this year in Etsy shares compared to how much I made from Etsy ads yeah, suddenly shares don't seem such a crazy gamble as they used to. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you the numbers. Um, Erica, how fast did you make the nails? Yeah, pretty fast because I've got sweaty fingers today. <laughs> I'm disgusting. <laughs> I just literally roll them and there's the nails. Um, they're not as good because I've only got three when I should have got four. I could, should I do four? Should I actually do what the makers told me to? Where's the wire? Nope, the wire's right down the middle of that toe. We'll go with three toes. Sorry, fella, <laughs> but you're having three toes. And actually I felted that foot firmer than that foot. So we're gonna spend a bit of time making this foot better. Um, but yeah, nails were nice and nice and easy. Um, I just, got distracted felting the feet because I was paying attention to people I was chatting to which was lovely <laughs> I can't believe like on Thursday as I say I use this um I use this app this is be live I'm not sponsored by them but I use this app to go live on e-rank if you don't know I'm part of the e-rank team as well um and basically I decided to do lots of fun things on Thursday and that nothing was working like it took us good 15 minutes to even manage to get live so I was like this isn't going to work oh Eric is saying I should make another toe so I'm I'm feeling about to see I could squeeze a toe in there we go squeeze a little toe in I'll do what I'm told, <laughs> Erica. <laughs> I think anyone who's brave enough to come on my chat can tell me what to do today. <laughs> so we've been told to make five, so I'll make five. Well, four, and then I I know what I mean. These are not the best toes I've ever made in the world. <laughs> 
Um, oh, Steffi, do you pay for this app or is this a free version? Um, this does have the free version, but this is the paid version. Um, the reason I paid for it is with the free version, you're limited to the number of streams you can do in a month. And also you're limited to the number of guests. I think you can only have two things on the screen at one time. Whereas with this, I can have up to four people on the screen at one time. Um, you can also screen share. And I think the sales, which we'll do this again, everybody, this is fun. This is part of the app. Um, this is this is something I can do. So we're we're talking. I should have done this when I was talking to Steffi. So I can also have sales things up. So we were talking about the Maker's Monthly Kit. Here's the Badger Kit that we can we we can start from this week as well. I'll be a little bit behind. Um, so you can do like live sales, which means I preload all of these things and I send them. I send it up to the screen, you can see the price, you can see the image, and it puts a link to where to sell them. So I think that live sales, I can't remember how much this is a month, it's not much, but if you have an audience that buy things while you're talking about them, like perhaps the makers do, <laughs> um, but you know, this way is a kind of kind of cool thing that can probably make its money back. Um, I don't know, it's my first time using it, but I thought this was kind of kind of cool a little extra feature so it just makes it a bit easier in chat because you've seen when I talk about things on YouTube um normally when I talk using the other app that I use it's it's more difficult I can't put up links I'm faffing about so this way really easy and then instead of Alicia having to come on board and <laughs> and pop up all the links I can just pop it up this way which I think looks a little bit better and I could see if you were having a sale or something and you wanted to announce it to people and um, this could be a really cool way to use it um so yeah paid version of the app <laughs> Right, I'm not making the best feet in the world. I would normally take a lot more time, says my excuse that I do every single time. Right, let's let's put the badger away, but I'm so excited to try that. If you didn't hear um, Steffi explaining that to us at the start, um, you want to watch the replay. I'm not even going to tell you. It's super exciting sounding, so you want to watch the replay on that. Um, oh, this guy, your toenails are all over the place. Um, Diana, hello there. Hello, friends. I'm a bit late today, but hello anyway. Great to see you. Um, so yeah, guys, everyone who's who's coming a bit late, you are going to want to grab the replay because we've had some exciting actual guests on the stream. People have joined in the stream, and it's not too late if anyone wants to join in. Um, it's relatively simple to do um it's a bit of a pain but once you're on it's easy um there's a link in my facebook group pam duffy's crafty friends um there's a link there that you can join in the stream from if you wish to say hello to everybody but um if not i can talk to myself i've been doing that every <laughs> every week up until now um but yeah just a, a different app for a bit of bit of fun that didn't go too terribly. Okay, my my wolf's probably going to be a bit more of a werewolf, right? I've got to make two more. Well, we've got to divide this up. Where's the the wire somewhere there? Yes, so everybody, when you're making this wolf, actually take your time to read the instructions properly and don't just read it quickly because you're chatting to other people. That's that's my take home at this stage. <laughs> Pam's an idiot, didn't read the instructions properly and had to go back and sort out two extra toe beans because Erica wanted the full set. And I completely agree. So actually, <laughs> I'm going to try something different. Um, Oh, hi, I see Steffi's down in the green room, but her camera's not on yet. So <laughs> um, when you get your camera on, I can let you back in. Um, looking good. E Pamela, very good app. Good for your audience too. Absolutely. Um, okay. I think we're about to have Steffi again. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I'm just, I'm just, um, I've, I've just run off and connected everything that 
I knew I had to connect, so I do apologize, but I'm because I'm on a different setting here, I don't know which way I need to face it yet. So <laughs> no problem. Me. And because I can't see myself beforehand, I just crouch down and make myself really oh, comfortable. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Hi, Pamela. Hi, Diane. Um, Erica was here earlier. Um, yeah, lots, lots, lots of familiar names and faces. And this is this is the slightly better camera, but I can't tell the difference. I'm <laughs> tired. <laughs> Oh no, you look lovely. It's good Aww. to see you again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, it's great that there's such a, a good community now. Like of, it's it's the makers people. So I appreciate you all following and jumping on with me as well. But there's this lovely community of felters that you've built up, and I think for 2020, this has been invaluable to just help people, hasn't it? Get oh, definitely. And I can I can pick up on this whole mood since the, the announcement um, last night again. And I, I will be totally honest, I had this sort of like sinking heart feeling in my chest where I thought, oh, here we go again. That sort of kind of, oh, no, not again. And this time it's not going to be summer. And this time it's not going to, we're not going to have nice days outside. And um, because, you know, it's it's that time of the year where you try and hunker down at home. And and so I thought, okay, okay, okay. Got to put all, everything we've got in the tank got to come out now and um we've got to do as much as we can certainly as the makers to keep ourselves going and and drag everybody else along basically because, oh, you know yeah. everybody says oh it's it's nice you keep everybody going but it's as much to keep myself going as I'm trying to keep everybody else going so it's um yeah it's just one of those things we just have to crack crack on get on with it and um at and there will be an end to it. You know, there's been lots of stories about um, people saying that we are actually the lucky generation. We've had no hardship whatsoever, really. We've not experienced any wars. We've not had any, um, like, we haven't had any, a pandemic in our lifetime. And um, and so many other people have gone through sometimes two wars, sometimes even more. And um, our generation and our children are actually... The lucky ones i you know my dad he was born in 44 he was a sort of just literally on the verge of starvation as he um uh, at the end of the war and he his family is lost they lost everything they had to build everything up from scratch and um and i'm i'm one of the first ones of the of the newer generation so this you know this is just just one of those things that we talk about in years to come and we say oh you know that was a tough time, but they managed to get through it somehow. And I think that's it's seeing that big picture, I think, that makes a difference. It's so right. I mean, it is difficult and nobody should feel bad for feeling bad. It's difficult. But yeah, it's it's nothing compared to what other people have coped with. You're so right. Mm -hmm. And yeah, keeping busy and doing things for other people helps you as well. So yeah, just mm -hmm. make sure and take as much rest as you need as well. Though I cut you guys work so hard, it's insane, but it helps. Yeah, yeah. Well, the same, the same with you. We very much appreciate what you're doing. I've just looked at my diary, and I'm literally every weekend now. I'm going to be working all the way through November with um so many events coming up, needle felting um workshops. Next weekend is the um create create creative craft show um on facebook where there will be live workshops and um i will be doing two for a little mini santa here's one i'm actually oh he's happened so to be cool. here and i'm 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 doing um dog heads but they're also they can be sort of christmas baubles maybe really? i know they're not half as nice as yours um oh, Pam, but they're, they're adorable they're just an hour and a half workshop and they're really easy to make and you can you can get your dog um head a bundle from the creative craft show if you if you um google creative craft show show um shopping and then that should take you and it's six pounds for the whole weekend to and it's not just needle felting it's 40 different um um crafty tutorials and workshops and i think it's such good value for money and then it stays it's like um I, I, it, it took me ages to get my head around it but what they call it it's different rooms 
So they mm -hmm. set up different private groups on Facebook, and then you you can you join that group and you can go into that group. And because whatever is being streamed in there um, stays there, so even if you're not watching it live, you can go back any time because you've paid for it because you couldn't possibly in a day watch forty tutorials. <laughs> You'd be like super human. Yeah, and yeah. um, and so I think that's such a good idea to do that. So we're really looking forward. We feel very privileged that we've been picked to, um, and it, we've, it's the first time we sponsored something as well. We sponsored um, the felting den, so that's quite exciting too. Oh, wow. Yeah. And then we're doing a Robin workshop um, on country living on Sunday, and that is a Zoom workshop. So it's it's just like, it just go, go, go. And then I'm actually going to two um, studios to film um a workshop for the knitting and stitching show and um i'm also back on creating craft so every weekend i'm like whizzing around and um going to well, you're places. not even going to get time to notice that we're locked down for november you're going to be so busy <laughs> I, <anyway. know. laughs> I know it's good timing it's like everything's <laughs> happening when yesterday we've just had the conversation com confirmation that we're going to do that the handmade festival is also going to do um live um zoom workshops again and we will be doing the robin bauble I, I happen to have everything here this is like <laughs> i'm coming but we're really? going to do these little robin baubles they're quite sweet as well they're adorable. The christmas tree and um yeah it's all it's all go 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 that's fab and actually i want to say to anyone thinking of doing them the like the dog's heads i will tell you for the past few years people are asking me all the time they want their pets as christmas ornaments so if you can do kits like that people will really love it that is adorable well so, yeah well they're both exactly the same the same design and um, mm -hmm. it just goes to show that even with the same design you can choose whether how you um, color it in whether you make the snout a little bit longer or a little bit shorter i mean i have i've made floppy ears because i think they're easier to identify them as dogs if you've got floppy ears but you could equally have standing up ears and um you know can give it a, a black patch on the eye or not and um, yeah, it's quite, it, they're very, very simple. They're literally just round balls with a snout um, at the front and a couple of fluffy ears um, on them. So you're telling everyone all my secrets that dogs oh, are really, <laughs> no, dogs are really easy. It's, I mean, I, I did, oh, I think like three years ago, I did a tutorial of how to do a dog's head and I'd done a tutorial of how to do a ball, a tutorial of how to do a tube and a dog's head is a ball and a tube. That's, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> yeah that's it exactly yeah so um i'm just watching you do the the leg which is um it's great if you're making it nice and sturdy because what i found um is that when i needle felted my wolf he's mm -hmm. almost sort of his bottom is almost suspended um so he he definitely needs to sit sort of in that diagonal position and mm -hmm. and and then it when you put the front legs on it's almost like the the bum is off the ground and if you look at dogs that's often where their springiness is they they hardly ever really sit down solid on their bottom um and and so that that's really good that you've got the sturdy front legs that's why we've put wire in there yeah so, definitely helps a lot yeah um, but yeah trying to i find that difficult all the time trying to make dogs sit as a sculpture because their their bums are never down but when you try and do it as a sculpture yeah they it's really hard to get them to yeah, because, because they 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 can sort of you know they not tend not to sit on their bottoms they tend to yeah. sit more like that like they're ready to pounce or ready to take <laughs> off they are yeah. Oh, it's I'm um, sorry I've got needles stuck in there <laughs> but yeah I actually saw a thing on Facebook so it was research for dog trainers because I watched a lot of dog training things and they did say people are actually stopping teaching their dogs to sit because unless when we don't train them dogs don't sit very often by themselves it's not a natural position it is for them to howl or something they can do that but yeah they, they it is they're they're barely there it's kind of ready to go sort of position isn't it mm. yeah to, and and um um we've had some exciting news the other day as well that um there, it was it wasn't international cat day i got that wrong but it was cat day whether it was just local or not and so i did a little preview of of the little kitten that um we're doing for the december horrible, yeah. and um and then the same day we've had a um, um we've we've been contacted by the cat protection and they want us to run a workshop for um for needle felted cats in february 
So I'm making, I've been making this, so I'm doing while I was watching you here. I'm making um, these little curled up cats. They're really tiny. And, um, oh, and they're going to be yeah. little little workshop packs. That um, and what they're, what they're saying is, sorry, this one isn't finished. It's it's going to be a grey one. Still looks a bit un unshapely. Um, and and so that um, cat lovers can make their own little um, copy. You were saying about having their own dog heads or breed um, or their own pets um, representing it. And with cats, it's mainly in the color, I suppose, when they're so yeah. tiny and tiny, you can't really, that it's great when you do really small work because you don't have to add a lot of detail to it and you get away with quite a lot of general generalization. But as soon as you go big, then suddenly you find yourself, you've got to add details or it doesn't look finished. Yeah, I don't, I know most people who felt, felt really big, but I much prefer a little tiny. Like you say, it's kind of, it's easier. <laughs> you get away with so much mm. and people kind of let you off. I find this very much, if I make a sculpture of someone's dog and it's like this size, it's like, oh, that's cute. That's great. It's a representation. But if you make something like, I can't even get it on the screen, but if you make something that's like a foot sized or something, they want it to look exactly, like, no, the slope of the nose is wrong. The, the ear is off by a quarter of a centimeter or something, you know. They want it like lifelike the bigger you go, whereas if they're tiny, it, it's just cute. <laughs> and those cats look adorable. I can't wait to see that. And for a good cause as well, Cats Protection League. Mm, cool. It's really great. So um, we, we'll, we are um, we're doing we're obviously doing the workshop for free and we're just covering our material costs. And um, and then the rest is all in aid of the cat's protection so that's really exciting oh, I, I love cats I, I love dogs as well but i love cats too for different reasons so. yeah yeah no cats are lovely too and cat owners are just as crazy about their cats as dog owners are about their dogs yeah, yeah definitely i think i sometimes think they're even more precious about them like really fussy um about cats not, not that yeah. the cats appreciated in one bit i think a dog would were far more appreciated if they were being fussed over <laughs> yeah that, that's true <laughs> but yes yeah, so, like my friend's cats when i've been over it's a much bigger deal if the cat comes over to say hello to you it's like the cat's chosen me whereas the dog's just like hello everybody i love you all <laughs> what i always find is the cats only ever go to the people who don't like cats <laughs> There is that, yes. I, I remember one of my friend's cats, um, they'd had her for years. They called her Scratch, which is a terrible name for a cat. <laughs> but she was a little bit, um, she, she would come over and ask for a pet, but you would get like one pet and then she would turn over and all claws were in your hand and she'd be biting your hands like, I'm done with that. So there was one day and I was in the, the shortest little flimsy summer dress and we were sitting and she just came straight in, leapt straight into my lap and then the clothes came like halfway out. It was like, don't you dare move. And <laughs> she just kind of threw shred my legs. I'm getting cuddled, but I don't do anything. <laughs> oh. She was adorable and you did want to fuss her, but no. <laughs> Well, right. have we got anybody else in the in the green room waiting to come in? Uh, no, but if you want to get off and do some work, it's been lovely talking to you. Yeah, let's do that. Kick me out. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Right, thank you so much for joining in. <laughs> okay, I bet this is going to, like, I've done... Oh, they're very deformed claws because I've been distracted. I will, I will straighten them out. I've not done much at all. What am I supposed to do? Um, I've got to make a circle. What's this going to be? Oh, I'm doing back legs now. I'm doing some back legs. Okay, we'll do a couple of couple of back legs, and then that'll probably have to be it for today. Oh, but it's been so nice to be distracted. Thank you all so much. Um, all right, take a good pinch, lay it flat. Oh, 14 by, right, it's a lot bigger than I thought. 14 centimeters by 11. So we want to add a little bit to both of them. And then I'll dive into the chat. I've been neglecting you guys on the chat as well, sorry. So, so exciting with lots of different things happening today. Um, start by folding in half lengthways and um, 
straight away felt into place and roll roll up gotcha okay <laughs> um <laughs> Pamela, exciting guest spots. How fun. I know. This is totally different. Um, so nice. Uh, Diana saying we all keep each other going, Steffi. Absolutely. Um, it's such a great community. Um, and keep strong. Yes. Um, <laughs> Pamela, willing, willingly joining along. Thank you for bellying up to the tech bar. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, Dorito, just finished with a felting project, going to put it up in my shop tomorrow. Fantastic. Best of luck. Definitely, if anyone has any makes that they're needing to sell, that they're planning to sell, don't wait to put them up. Just put them up <laughs> as soon as possible just now because we're just, it's, a lot of people are saying it's a bit quiet just now, but it's just about, let's use my three needle tool. It's just about to become not quiet, hopefully for many people. Um... Karen, you've done the robins. I'm making a robin and Christmas pudding banner. Awesome. Keeps me centered to felt and totally relax. Yes, I, I agree. It's I think it's a really cool thing to do. Um, it's almost kind of like meditation. Tell me if I'm crazy. Um, but I, I kind of feel that way. It's just we've got just this repetitive mindlessness of just felting and then when you're sitting doing it something something appears out of nothing so yay <laughs> it's i think it's really cool to just oh hiccups chill out and unwind so guys i will make these sausages and then this will probably be it um yeah I totally got distracted um but we will get this wolf done um but yeah, just a few more minutes for a chat if anyone has anything to say. Uh, and let me know what you think of the, the guest stars or stuff. Um, guest star, yeah, guest stars. There's everyone who's come on is a star. It's been awesome to see to see you all. If it's something you've enjoyed that you're gonna want to you're hoping to join in with at some point if you would like to come in that way. Um, or if you just want me to shut up and get back on with felting. Um so let me know how you're getting on um what you think what you think and everything and yeah well while we're saying it yeah how you're getting on how's everyone doing just now um as Steffi mentioned yesterday England went into a, a fuller lockdown for the month um Scotland has still has its tier system but our tier is in the pubs and everything are shut but I've I've only been to an outdoor pub in the in the past seven months anyway so and unfortunately it's kind of same old same old for me um but and wales is in a the middle of a two-week severe lockdown um germany's just going in france is into lockdown yeah um but but yes yeah, so there's a there's a lot a lot going on and as we've already spoke about america's in its own level of craziness that's completely different but based based on different things oh these are not going to be even legs at all yeah maybe not as bad tiny tiny pinch extra needed there but otherwise maybe too maybe not too bad um Dorito still struggle making legs even after watching multiple videos. Um, yeah, I I do have like I'm loving this seeing how to make them in a completely different way. Um, but I tend to with the legs, no matter what I'm doing with an animal, especially on the larger size, I make an armature um for whatever position it's going to I'm, I make a standing armature and then move it into the position I want and I find doing that and then sort of adding the muscles so you've got a leg you've you've wrapped a leg in the shape I don't have wires around with me but you've wrapped a leg in the shape of what the bones are going to be doing and then you put like a, a hind leg you put the thigh muscles and everything on wrap it over with a layer of skin which is just more fleece and that tends to really look decent um if you get a good skeleton down um but i'm really having fun doing it totally different from what i would normally do um 
Lisa, late, le, 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 late today, looks like I've missed a good life. We have had fun. Yay. But thank you so much for joining us anyway. Um, you really want to catch the replay because you're going to see some different faces. This has been fun. Um, and I'm amazed it actually worked. Lily is wrangling wire and felt. Oh, are you doing the wire and felt project? Are you doing the thing that I, <laughs> the thing that I bullied you into? Awesome. Um, so you have to distract me another time. Oh, that's cool. It would be awesome to see you sometime anyway. Um, Steffi, people often wait till the news are out and now that they are, at least we know where we stand, let the Christmas shopping begin. Yeah, um, that's we, we know what's going on, absolutely. And I, yeah, for anyone who's selling anything online not just Etsy I mean, the makers have their own website because they're far braver than me <laughs> um, but yeah anyone who's selling online at all I'm thinking online's going to be pretty good now with England shut down um, and Scotland Northern Ireland and Wales pretty much shut down a lot of people are going to be Christmas shopping online so Hopefully, it's a really good time. Um, Diana, I think I would have gone totally bonkers this year without needle felting. Yeah, I think without needle felting and without internet, um, it, it certainly kept me <laughs> kept me in touch with people, which is really important. Um, the makers brought myself some boots and something else <laughs> that I've already forgotten. <laughs> Um, did make me feel a bit better. Yeah, I won't lie. I have been shopping more this year than I would in usual years for bits for myself. Where did my other needle go? Oh, I see it. Um, yeah, I've been shopping a bit more. And forgetting a pad, it's awesome because then when the postman comes, like next week, the postman will turn up and you'll just be like, what did I order? And it's like a wee present for yourself. It's great. Um, retail therapy. Yeah. Far too easy online. I like eBay and Amazon and well, even your credit cards. You just have a thing going, you know, you've been shopping a lot today. Do you want to take a break? <laughs> Do you really want that? Um, Karen wants more felting. Yep. So definitely felting. Um, the makers, yeah, remember they'll be unwrapping their makers box tomorrow on the YouTube channel at 11 a.m. UK time. So the Badger and Woodland set will be there. I can't wait to see that. It's going to be a wee while before we get into the Badger set. I'm going to have to going to have to hurry up a bit, get moving. Um, <laughs> but, uh, well, I knew the wolf was going to take me three three lives anyway so hopefully and I don't have the ba the badger box only came out today so hopefully we won't be too far behind and I love the idea it looks like if we've got the diorama with the badger you've got all the little things to make but you're about to add your own things as well to it with any leftover bits of wool you've got from other kits so have an idea of what things you can add to that little diorama um so that sounds like really fun I'm th thinking what else can I put in there, like rabbits and foxes and hedgehogs. How to do a really tiny hedgehog. Hmm. <laughs> Things to think about. Um, oh, and from the makers, the fairy box Christmas fairy and the surprise box space travel. Oh, I forgot to bring it up with me today to, to show you, but I finally ordered the rainbow pack. I can't remember what it's called, but... Oh, it looks so good. I've got all the colours of the rainbow again in, in felt, and it's so exciting. Um, Steffi, well done. So want to do this now, the sharing on YouTube. Yeah, it's super fun to be able to have guests. <laughs> this is a new thing. Um, and Lily saying, yes, I'm doing the thing. <laughs> Hopefully ready to show you next week. Awesome. Um Dorito, I was also wondering, do you need to use armature to get a sturdy leg? Um, you don't need it, but it's a whole lot easier. Um, you would, I can't really demonstrate great because these are just not felted firmly yet, but you have to felt really firmly. Like when you're turning a hawk or something in a dog's leg, like if it's too loose, it's not going to 
turn very well and that doesn't really hold the body weight so you have to felt really quite firmly whereas if you have a wire imagine this was going to be a back leg so you can turn there's your thigh there's your hawk and it's happened already i'm sorry wolf i've done terrible things to your front legs but it, it's much easier and depending on how sturdy the wire is it does give you a little bit of extra i mean these do have a bit of give in them so it, it won't hold a lot of weight but felt not a lot of weight anyway um so you don't need an armature but the bigger you go the more an armature is going to help um <laughs> lily tree's been shopping as well she did buy some gemstones wow you you make wire wrap jewelry you're allowed to that that's see that's not shopping see i don't i don't count um all the wool i bought from the makers and everything like that that i've been, been buying that's not shopping that's work that that's allowed <laughs> um erica yes to a hedgehog a whole woodland theme would be lovely i know oh. there, there you go makers right I, idea for you um you could you could <laughs> here's me telling you but wouldn't it be cool to have um every now and again a sort of module that you could add on to the diorama so you've got the badger in the in its own little landscape and you could have another little landscape and they could come together to be uh, they could either be great works of art on their own or come together and yeah we could have the the wolf howling at the moon in the background and i just hit the camera <laughs> there we go yeah we could over the course of a year or two build up to an entire diorama <laughs> Paula, um, I, I I assume that's hello or good day or something. Uh, Karen, thank you so much. The front legs are looking great. His nails need some work, but <laughs> they, well, they should do. It's been like an hour and a half. I've been felting on them, but that's because I've been distracted because you guys distracted me, which was awesome. Um, <laughs> Lily, okay, I'll do some more work this week then. Lily's going shopping. <laughs> awesome. Sounds good. Uh, Paula, can this be done with a fluff from inside of pillow? It depends what's in your pillow. Um, some things, it can, some stuffings, it can be. Um, absolutely. Some people do like to use like stuffing, but anything I've used, I did not like at all. And I have to say, this proper proper wool this is 100 percent wool um just felt easier um this is the makers what's the word i'm looking for a uh, core this is the makers core wool which does felt really quickly um i found some of the the stuff the fluff inside the pillow is synthetic and doesn't quite felt the same but hey if you have a felting needle give <laughs> Then a felted needle that barely costs anything. It's like a pound or something. Um, so if you have a felting needle, just wander around and see what you can felt. Um, but other things that felt really well, if you just want a kind of core and you've got stuff lying around, an old jumper. Cut up bits of a jumper, wrap it round, felt it, and then cover it in decent stuff. Being careful that the needle doesn't come all the way through and you don't get fluffy jumpers. But, you know, like recycled jumpers will felt um diana it may work for you <laughs> the rest of us it is shopping and sometimes we're told you don't need more fluff i know well thankfully i've got no one else here to tell me off as the fluff takes over the world <laughs> but i i generally am good at not buying too like i've usually got an idea for what why i'm needing something um the makers, yeah, I think we have a whole woodland cl collection already. Foxes, hedgehogs, badger, hare, rabbits, mites, owls. You might have to scale them up or down. Yeah, to get them to fit in. Yeah, well, that's a good... Right. Got me thinking because I do... I did do the sleepy fox kit. He's down there. He is giant. But yeah, if I could tiny the sleepy fox so he fits into the badger diorama. That sounds so cute, right? We're doing a tiny sleeping fox at some time because I've got all this spare time to do stuff. <laughs> K 
Karen, but where do we put this diorama? My cabinets are full of felties. Oh, yeah. Um, that is the difficult thing. You just need to buy a new house. <laughs> just keep moving. Bigger house every year. <laughs> hey, Carol, you've used pillow stuffing in the very centre, then wrapped and felted over it with core. Yeah, absolutely. That works really well too um yeah what's in the middle doesn't have to be great i mean if you think about it like clay artists quite often when they're making a sculpture certainly the polymer clay ones because that stuff can be expensive but when you're making a big sculpture you use a wire armature and then and i wouldn't do this with felt but i'm just using it as an example but then they um will make a, a sort of padded out with tin foil um or you can even use like chicken wire to form the shape and then you put the expensive clay stuff over the top of it. So yeah, we could totally use like pillow stuffing or whatever you want in the very middle to pad it out and then dive in with your with your more expensive stuff. But that, that's the word. Thank you, Steffi. The lanolin lich rich core wool which is this stuff it's really good and because it's got the lanolin and everything and it's a really good core wool it it felt well it doesn't just felt it sticks to itself when you're rolling it and stuff it sticks to itself really nicely um yep it's the favorite for most people totally agree um karen oh have i gone fuzzy um it's looking okay on my end guys can you let me know if if things are fuzzy this camera up here hit the mic again this camera up here has been hunting a little bit for focus but the big old ugly mug not so bad um karen i buy what fluff i want like i like to have plenty stock at hand absolutely um i mean i've built up slowly over the years because it gets although wool is cheap it does get expensive when you have everything you need um so i have built up to have what I try and do is I'll have a big supply of dark and light core wool and then I have all the colours that I need for animals in tops because I can cover in tops or I can do long hair in tops. Um, so I have a lot of tops and <laughs> now I'm building up some some bats in other colors as well but i just found it cheaper and easier to have all the colors that i need in tops because you can card them out with dog brushes to make them into bats and if you're doing like a dog with long hair you want to cover the not so hairy bits with the same color as you're doing the hairy bits so i found that the most money money saving way for the things that i make um paula do you make your fluff with sweaters um i don't personally no this is um steffi from the makers link to this this is their um core wool the lanolin rich core wool and you get lots of different things in the kit this this is fleece as it comes off a sheep um it's processed slightly i think it's washed a bit and processed a little bit but not not too much but this is wool off a sheep it's not not off of the sweaters but if anyone was just starting out and didn't have stuff that's something you can play around with um right guys i think i've probably not done half as much as i expected to do today but it has been so much fun so i'll give you like five minutes just to say goodbyes and get any final questions in um and yeah but I want to thank you all so much for joining in this little experiment that we did and um, that was so much better than I expected to work so um yeah if you if you like this I will focus a bit more on felting in future but if you like this and remember if you if we get this to work again if you want to share any of your fuzzies if you want to just say hello to people um but thank you all so much who were brave enough to join in today i was blown away that people did that that was so cool um something a bit different um don't forget if you're if you're selling online i'm gonna have some videos coming up this week you could they could be kind of interesting not quite the bombshell of last week but yeah the well I think the stock exchange numbers, the stocks and shares, I think you do want to check in on that. Um, but 
yeah so i'll just check the rest of the chat and then i will leave you to your morning afternoon or evening um buono oh chat jumped again buono gorino sorry i can't I, I'm terrible, <laughs> but it means good morning. So good morning to you as well. Sorry, I'm saying things wrong there. Um, Karen, I've run out of room in my craft cabinet for fluff storage. It's in the living room. So I'm planning oh, planning on making some hang, hang, hammock shelves for the wall to decoratively store my extras. Oh, fab. That sounds so good. I was actually... I was thinking of getting some of the Maker's Sweetie Jars for some of mine. I have no way to display them sort of here, but tidy up my sitting room a little bit. Um, so, yeah, but oh, I want to see the ham hammocks. I would love to be able to do that, but I don't really have space. Uh, Lily Tree, have a good week, everyone. And you, great to see you. Well, hear from you. We'll see you another time. Uh, Ginger making eggs Benedict for lunch. Enjoy that. Karen enjoyed the chat. Thank you so much for joining in. Um, Diana, thanks, Pam. See you next week. Uh, Paula, love your sweater. Oh, thank you. This is we've got the last the last moment of Halloween. <laughs> um lisa will catch the replay cool um thank you so much karen oh thank you love watching you felt thank you so much uh erica uh thank you cj great live have a great week everyone and you erica stay safe yes everybody stay safe stay stay happy stay busy <laughs> um stay warm and have a not too bad week uh carol thanks enjoyed seeing everyone and steffi thank you so much see you next week bye everyone and stay safe i can't say better than that i'm out of here